When we have differences amongst us as an ummah, show your children and the new generation, the, those who are up and coming, how we managed those differences. We don't need to swear and shout and scream and belittle and call names because that's not a sunnah. That's nowhere near what Islam teaches, even though you and I know and gloves off. There are scholars who do that today. Never mind. It's their weakness. And you know what? Excuse them, but don't teach that to your children. You say, listen, my child, if you differ with someone, you can register the difference respectfully without insulting the individual. That's it. Because you are part of an ummah. You are one family. Tomorrow, when disaster strikes the ummah, wallahi, we will have to stand up for one another. Come what may. There was a neighbor, Muslim also, in one of the areas, and he never used to greet the other neighbor. Why? Because he belonged to what he felt was a different sect of Islam. Muslims, both Muslims. But he says, no, we can't greet, no greeting. So one day there was a visitor who came across and he greeted this man with no response. He said, my brother, I just want to tell you one thing. The day the thugs come to your place, the man who's going to rush to your assistance is this man who you're not greeting. And then he went away. And I tell you, something struck a chord. Now, the brother comes to me and says, every time he passes, Salaamu Alaikum, bhai, what's happening? Are you okay? Everything well? He says, no, mashallah. Why? It hit him to say, it's true, not just thugs. Floods can come, thugs can come, any calamity can come, an earthquake can happen, a disaster can happen. Who's there? The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, says, Jibreel alayhi salam continued to remind me about the rights of a neighbor, so much so that I felt perhaps he's going to say, when you die, your neighbor inherits a certain share of it. Because it has to be so important to have good neighbors. You got to be a good neighbor and have good neighbors. That's your first port of call. Obviously, we call out to Allah, but what I mean is physically from humankind, there goes. May Allah protect us all. So let's be responsible as an ummah. There is hope. We are growing. We have a lot. And inshallah, we have so much of positivity. Learn to love one another. Small differences you shouldn't take to heart. They're petty things. Let them be released. Don't worry. Never. That's my brother. Never mind. Those are my sisters. Never mind. Look what I said. You have people who say bad things. No problem. It's their weakness. It's their... Excuse them. You keep on doing good work. One day the people will see. One of the sheikhs, when he was told about differences and so on, he said very, very simply, he drew two lines. He says, you see, this line is skew. Instead of living your life saying this line is skew and, uh, they, they, and swear the person who drew that line because it's a skew line, all you got to do without talking, draw a straight line next to it and walk away. What happens? Anyone who passes up to the end will notice, say, hey, there's a crooked line there, but there's a straight line right next to it. The message is delivered. May Allah Almighty grant all of us goodness and forgive our shortcomings and grant us all the ability to love one another truly and may our hearts be pure and clean because as an ummah, wallahi, we need each other because that was the plan of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ultimately, it's Allah who we need. But Allah has kept us such that with an ummah collectively, when we feel for one another as one body, that is the only time we will grow.